Hey guys, we're back to the next video. This time it is a new gaming monitor from Philips. This is the Avenia 5000 series. It's a new game monitor. It's 2560 by 1440, 240 hertz. Okay, so this is the interface. Now, to get around it, it's actually quite easy. It's got this trigger at the back, like a, uh, like a nipple, to actually go through the overall settings. Now, this is FPS mode. As you can see, it does push the brightness up to 100%, but I wouldn't say the colours pop. Now then, of course, you've got racing, which does make it a bit more vibrant than this RTS. Then, of course, there's movie, which does make the colours a lot more vibrant. Then, of course, there's low blue mode. Then there's easy read, there's economy, which obviously saves it for brightness. Then there's smart uh, uniformity. Then there's game, and then game one and game two. Now, that's standard. So, and then when it comes to the game mode, yeah, it's got adaptive sync. It's got MBR sync as well. It's got crosshair. It's got dark boost. It's got a smart response. And then when it comes to the inputs, of course, it's got two HDMI, two display ports. Then, of course, the audio. It isn't uh, built-in speakers. You do have to put your own uh, sound system on it. So, if you're using a headset, I suppose that's all right. And then, of course, then it's got, like, the horizontal, vertical. And then it comes to the setup. Now, you can do the power LEDs. The resolution notice will tell you, obviously, what resolution you're running that. And then it comes up to the overall information. Tells you the serial number, the model, as well as if that adaptive sync is on. And, of course, then it comes with the reset. And then that's pretty much it when it comes to the interface. Okay, so this is some CSGO gameplay. Now, what I will say is this monitor feels good. 
doesn't feel laggy. I'm getting 400 plus FPS, and this game is running on, I believe it's high, and at 2560 by 1440. Now, of course, the, uh, the system I'm using is a Ryzen 950. Uh, 7900 sorry with an rx 7800 xt so fairly high end uh it feels smooth there's no problems with any sh ghosting or shadowing because this is a va panel which i will say it actually feels okay so have that so i'm getting over 400 fps this feels absolutely buttery smooth the monitor it does look great of course this is re uh, this has been reset to default so this is how you guys would get it if you bought it yourself now what i would say is this monitor is around the 330 pound mark which has got a lot of competition considering there's a lot of budget monitors out there that at, at, are at this size as well as this refresh rate but phillips of course they are the avenia uh branding now which are i do actually prefer and of course they do a lot of different ranges of monitors from oleds to ultra wides to big 4k monitors and everything and this game actually feels fantastic right then so you've seen the unboxing you've also seen the overall gameplay with csgo yeah it wasn't a very long game play through run with you guys because i just want to tell you my overall feeling while playing yes i didn't experience any ghosting any problems when it comes to the display because it is a va panel which does have a problem when it comes to ghosting and such like that i didn't experience any of those so that is just something i want to nip in a bud instead of you commenting below watch the video you will know then that i didn't experience any ghosting and shadowing nothing wrong with the overall panel now i don't like the fact that it doesn't have in it doesn't have onboard speakers now if it does have onboard speakers it clearly did not work for me because the speakers wouldn't work with hdmi or display port i've tried it on both my t my test system my personal rig but here and still couldn't get it working so i've had to put my own speaker system on just so i can get some sound to it which i think is a bit of a pain if you're paying this kind of money i think onboard speakers should be the way to go but you know it's one of them things I, honestly though they've got cheaper options than this with speakers which i don't understand but that's just my little gripe but overall where i think this pro th this monitor's got a problem is its price range because where it's sat at at 320 to 330 pound it's got a lot of competition from a lot of different players cooler master asus it's got loads of competition in this particular price range because if you're a basic newbie gamer you will go for the cheapest as long as it's got good high refresh rate but if you're a more enthusiast gamer who likes higher refresh rate because trust me once you've gone high refresh rate, you won't want to go back to 60 hertz. I'm telling you, that's from personal experience. It's got all the settings you want, 2560 by 1440, 240 hertz. Yes, it's VA. I wish it was IPS, but that's just another niggle. The stand, the overall build quality, the overall look still looks fantastic. I do like the overall dark grey colour, it does look really nice, especially if you've got a black case, it does suit it really, really well. Like, But like I said, it's the price range where I think they're going to have a lot of competition. So, yeah, look, I've got a lot of stuff coming. I've had the email off Thermalright. I will be getting per, uh, more products on the way, so make sure you subscribe for that. Now, next week, I will be go into my first tech event which will be tech max up in sheffield in the united kingdom so you will be seeing videos from that as well and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you this is richard from welshy tech good bye